strap in and get ready, we're about to hit the busiest month of the year for flagship phone launches. October 2018 has multiple big Android launches stacked on top of each other, so here's our quick guide on what to look for in each of the month's major releases. LG's launching its first proper successor to the V30 at events in New York City and Seoul on October 3rd, and if the rumours are right, we could get the first major Android phone with five cameras, three on the back likely for telephoto zoom, super wide angle and regular, and two on the front for some kind of depth sensing selfie feature. Also look for a much improved OLED display with a notch, LG is manufacturing the iPhone XS's screen now, and so the quality has surely improved from last year's P OLED in the V30. The rumour mill also tells us to expect a stereo version of the G7's very impressive boombox speaker setup. We'd also hope to have Android 9 Pie on any new phone launching from now on, so fingers crossed LG doesn't cut any corners on the software. Google's next round of hardware will debut at events in New York and London on October 9th, and in addition to the Pixel 3 and 3 XL, which we've already seen thoroughly leaked in recent months, we may get some surprises. So expect a baby pixel with a standard 18x9 panel, and a biggie pixel with a gigantic screen notch, along with other trade-offs like a single rear camera plus no headphone jack. At least the move to a glass-backed design should allow for wireless charging, which is the first in the pixel line, so Google might be foregoing the trend of multiple cameras on the back, but we can look forward to improved selfies on these phones thanks to dual front cameras. And of course the Pixel 3's single rear camera should be even better than what we've been enjoying on the Pixel 2 for the past year, so a candidate for the best phone camera of the year for sure. Besides phones, it's likely we'll get a refreshed Google Pixelbook, and Google is expected to debut its own smart display, the Google Home Hub. The latter could sell for as little as $149, and pack a Google Home-style fuzzy speaker with a 7-inch screen on the front. Right after Google, Razer's bringing everyone to the West Coast for an event in LA for its second-gen Razer phone. According to leaked images, the Razer Phone 2 will look almost identical to the first one from the front, the leave predictable upgrades like a Snapdragon 845 processor paired with the same 8 gigs of RAM. Big question is whether Razer can fix the trade-offs from last year's phone in terms of camera performance and daylight visibility on that silky smooth 120Hz display. We also don't know what's new on the software side, hopefully it'll be the same blazing fast performance, maybe paired with a more up-to-date version of Android. In the biggest launch of October in terms of just pure scale, Huawei takes to London on the 16th to unveil the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro. Both will run Huawei's new 7 nanometer Kirin 980 chip with faster performance, better power efficiency and smarter AI features. Both will also run the refreshed EMUI 9 interface with lighter colours and graphics, easier one-handed use and all the features you expect from Android 9 Pie. In the Mate 20 we'll get a big phone with a tiny teardrop notch and boxy angles. In the Pro expect a curved OLED screen, a bigger notch to house dual front facing cameras and likely a smaller footprint as well. Besides the slightly weird square camera module on the back, we don't yet know what new camera tricks the Mate 20 will be able to pull off, but it should be an improvement on the P20 Pro which is already extremely impressive, especially in low light. Huawei might be irrelevant in the US right now, but the Mate 20 is going to be a very big deal globally. No event has actually been announced just yet, but an official screenshot from the OnePlus 6T hints at a possible October 17th announcement, hot on the heels of Huawei. Confirmed so far, the removal of the 3.5mm headphone jack to free up space for a bigger battery, and in-screen fingerprint, which is still a rarity even at the high end. And after looking at some clues from the Oppo R17 Pro, which would share many hardware features with the OnePlus 6T, there's even more to look forward to, potentially. A bigger screen at 6.4 inches diagonally, a teardrop notch and an even bigger screen to body ratio, a larger battery, perhaps at around 3700 mAh, and a new camera setup, the main camera of which should be identical to the Galaxy S9 or Note 9. On the software side, expect Android 9 Pie as part of a software setup very similar to the current OnePlus 6 open beta, which is already pretty fast and stable. Overall, that's an exciting upgrade and perhaps the biggest T-Series phone yet. So those are the big Android launches we know about coming in October. Stick around and subscribe so you don't miss our hands-on coverage of each and every one of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.